Hello everyone, my name is Breeze and welcome back to another episode on the Highlands SMP server. Today it is raining, but as you can see there is no rain apart from the particles hitting the ground. That is thanks to Optifine. I recently found a setting in Optifine's detail settings where you can actually turn the rain and snow off, which is absolutely amazing. This basically means we ha we still have the sounds, but we can easily turn that down if we go into uh, weather options. I normally have that really low for some reason. For some reason, that's a bit higher than usual, and my hostile mobs are off. But yes, um, I normally have those really my weather sounds low anyway, so rain shouldn't really affect me that much. But yeah, uh, Optifine has got some really nice features. I know I used to use it a lot, but I never really used to use any of the features. And also another one I just saw there, you can change the height of the clouds, which is which is pretty awesome. But yes, we are back in the spawn town of the Highland server. That is because da -da -da -da, I want to do some enchanting. As you can see, we have got 59 levels. That is because I've been spending a bit of time at... Uh, <laughs> Tank Tornado's XP farm. I'm sorry, thank you if you don't want people to use the farm, but I stumbled across it while I was being nosy around everyone's bases. Um, and I found a little, your little ladder that leads up to the farm. So I sat there for a little bit, collected a few levels, and what I'm going to be doing, I do not have the diamonds to make any more tools. I could probably make another shovel, but we are not going to do that. What I'm going to do, I. Oh, I heard a spider. Where are you, Mr. Spider? Oh, where is it? So I've had hostile mobs turned off all day while I've been playing. So <laughs> it's been it feels a bit weird to actually be able to hear spiders and stuff again. Where are you? Are you on the roof? You're not on the roof of that building. You're probably on the roof of the slime, but oh well. We are not going to focus on that. We're going to focus on what I came to the spawn to do. So if we quickly jump in here and throw in our let's try a shovel for now. Well, oh efficiency. That's actually not too bad. Efficiency four was that, yeah? Efficiency four. I think it's gonna be the same on the axe, yes it is. Uh what about a book? Fire aspect, feather falling, and power. I think I know who's going to be the winner here. I'm actually going to just do a, a diamond axe on this one. Hopefully we can get an unbreaking. Oh, sweet. Efficiency and unbreaking axe, which is absolutely amazing. And we've got an unbreaking shovel here, which I might end up doing. And I'm breaking. I don't know why I keep checking the... the um, oh, I might do that, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know why I keep checking the uh, other tools, because all the tools are probably going to be the same. Um... I think it would be best if I go for some like efficiency t uh, books. So I'm going to do that. Grab an efficiency one book. Throw the shovel back in. Let's see if we get efficiency. There we go. Oh, sweet. We managed to get our shovel and our axe both with the same enchantments. Now, I might add uh, the uh, silk touch books to these. Maybe in the future. I'm not 100% sure just yet. But we will find. I will do that in the near future. So protection, power for. Let's go for the protection because that's always nice. Uh, let's have a look. Sharpness, smite, so sharpness, uh, power, unbreaking. Let's actually do the unbreaking. Uh, smite, unbreaking one. Always nice to have unbreaking books. Efficiency, oh, efficiency three. What one should I go for? Efficiency one. Let's just do the efficiency one books for now. Uh, efficiency one, projectile, uh, definitely efficiency one. Power, efficiency, oh, affinity, definitely going to go for that one. Uh, sharpness, protection, projectile, smooth. That one's not really one I want to do. Let's see what we get on a tool instead. Fortune, unbreaking. I don't really want to use it on that axe. I might actually just use it on a standard pick. Let's do a level one on that pick, get unbreaking on it. Okay, protection one, punch one. Let's just go for the protection again. Protection, respiration. Not too bad of enchantments at the moment. Ooh, ooh, looting. Um I suppose we could go for a looting three if we get another one of those. Oh, fortune two as well. Uh power, feather falling, smite. I think I'm gonna go for the power for now. And it looks like we've running out run out of levels, so I'm breaking. Can we do any more? Yes we can. Sharpness, efficiency. Hmm. I think the efficiency would be best. 
Now we're going to keep going until I've run out of levels or books to do this. So let's just have a look. Protection. Smite or knockback. Let's go for smite. Uh, dang it. Um, hmm. I don't really like either of those. I'm breaking fortune. Let's do a fortune one <laughs> on that guy because we haven't actually got a fortune pick just yet. I do believe. Didn't we just get a fortune book? Oh, I've got power five on that. Wait, what? Affinity. Did I really only? Did I get? We have two loot in two books. Um, let me quickly try and find an anvil. Um. We might actually combine these. I know there's some anvils around here, but I don't really want... Oh, look like people have already been using This one's already been broken. So let's just see. Uh, where's that other one? Looting, looting. Looting three power. That's ten levels. What about the other way around? Six levels. Let's go for that. Sorry about using up the anvil, guys, but I want that looting three book. I just... just It's looting three. And it doesn't look like we could do any more levels, unfortunately. But we do did get a nice amount of books. Most of them are protection... Unbreaking efficiency, which is always nice, and a few uh, special books like Fortune 2, uh, da, 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 the looting book, obviously, because we could put that on a sword. We're not going to put it on this sword, I'm probably going to put that on a, another sword that I end up making because once I get some more diamonds, I will end up doing that. But if we actually let's actually head around the spawn for a little bit, see if there's anything new. Um, I did notice, uh, where was it? I think it's actually up here somewhere. No, I actually think it's the other way. But let's just check this way anyway. It looks like someone's been putting snow everywhere. <laughs> oh, something I for almost forgot about. Happy Halloween, everyone. This video, I am recording this on Halloween. I do not know if it's going to be up on Halloween. So I do apologise if it is not. Okay, sorry about that. For some reason, my throat decided to start drying up. But this is one of the newest things on the server. They probably do not want me to show it. Uh, Packcraft probably doesn't want me to show it off. But it is a future apartment complex, which sounds awesome. And I did have a sneak peek at it earlier. I didn't record it, so he hasn't got to worry about me ruining anything. Um, I will obviously show more as it's built up. I think this is going to be like a really tall... Like, um, apartment building which will be pretty awesome for all the new members of the server I know we do have like this little bedroom area here which we can possibly sleep in there's some cobblestone in there I don't know why I keep doing that if we quickly sleep in this bed I know we have our bed at our, at our base uh, but I thought I would just quickly why is it not let me oh <laughs> I'm thinking why is it not let me sleep I forgot Magnum was on the server um, but yes um that would be pretty nice for newer members of the server to find a place to stay, if that's what it's intended for. And it also looks like someone has a new banner. Let's go check the uh, wall of the banners and see whose banner this belong, who this b banner belongs to. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's Packcraft. Awesome. He's got a pretty nice banner. I do. I am still trying to come up with a design for my banner, and that actually looks really nice. A shame I didn't get that ba that design, <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got some pretty nice designs here. Personally, my favourite so far is actually I kind of like Packcraft's one, and we do actually have a space for our banner when we finally get around to making one, uh, which I will do in the near future. I'll probably des uh, devote an episode to it. Um, so yeah, that'll be a pretty cool thing to do. Just quickly check our mailbox. Nothing in there at the moment. Unfortunately, there has been no mail going around on the server. Um, but yeah, let's actually quickly check the shop over here. Now, I do want to do some other stuff. What's going on here? Oh, he's put up his banners. That's pretty cool. Four diamonds. Oh, these are the pricing options. So four diamonds or four, 64 gold ingots or 15 blocks of lapis. It looks like everything has been bought, which is unfortunate because I wanted to see what was in that chest. Oh, I just threw my pick on the floor. My bad. Okay, let's quickly rub my eye because some reason it's running. Let's just check in here. So we've got a smite book with nothing in there. Some feather falling books, but ain't bad. Uh, two diamonds, 45 gold. 
and three blocks of lapis. Unfortunately, this is about all the lapis I've got, plus like one at home, so I will not be able to use the lapis or the diamonds for that matter. Uh, I don't even think I have the gold to buy any of these items, and someone's read the sign wrong, someone's put iron in there instead of gold. Um, yeah, only gold ingots. Okay, let's check this chest over here. Fire protection and smite. Power and smite. Power and blast protection. Hey, all these prices the same. See, the way I would have had it, I know I did build my own shop on the Simplex server. I would have had it where... Oh. Oh. I'm being nosy now. <laughs> I did not see that. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There we go. <laughs> um... But yeah, I would have had it so like all the swipe books were in one chest, all the power, all the blast protection are in another chest, blah de blah de blah. You get what I'm saying. You, if you guys watched my previous series on Simplex, you would know what I'm talking about. But yes, I am going to check out what's going on over here. Nice little path over here. I'm not going to check the chest. That is something I do too often. I just run around everywhere, just like checking, right clicking on the chest and, and then getting out of them. Um... Hi hey, Skelly, how are you? Actually, that's something I need to do. I want to make myself a bow. Now, we don't have the levels at the moment to... Ow. <laughs> to actually do that. Um, I have been getting a few bows from skeletons, so I might end up combining them uh, with like the fish, uh, Infinity Book that I got earlier. Where is it? It's up here. There it is. But yes, I might end up combining those together eventually. Also, I still need to get on to Tango about a iron farm. I probably will end up messaging him after this episode. Uh, probably not after it's gone live, but after this episode has been released. Now, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly head back to my base and just think of something else to do. I knew, I know I have one little thing to show you at the base, but that's about it for now. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, everyone, welcome back. As you can see, we are back at our base. Now, I have made another chest for all the books that we just got from the little um, enchantment session. And I did put the special books that we got down here. I know Fortune 2 isn't that special at the moment. But if we can get another Fortune 2 book, I will combine them to make the Fortune 3, obviously. Um, but yeah, we've got our Unbreaking book, our Looting, our Affinity, and our Fortune book down here. And if we quickly head down here... As you can see, I've done a little bit of work down here. I've decided to replace all of the cobblestone with these wooden wooden pillars. And I'm thinking about continuing this design all the way around the base. Now, I'm probably not going to do what I, my, my mouse is doing at the moment. Like, where I'll put these logs going across here. I might give it a go, but I'm not 100% sure just yet. Um, and also, if we head in here, we've also made some space for our beds. And I can't sleep at the moment because it is not night time. And plus, Magnum is still on the server. I actually think he goes AFK when he joins the server, so... Um, actually, I th forgot to do that bit over there, but that is okay. Um, I think for the rest of this episode, I might end up doing a little bit of caving. Not on camera, I'll do it off camera so you guys don't get bored. And then come back with the loot. I will end up using my Silk Touch pickaxe and maybe my Fortune pick when I get back. Um, actually, that's an idea. I wanted to see how much it would cost to combine these two. Uh, six levels. Is that six levels? Both. Oh, four levels. There we go. So if we quickly just combine that one, we have an extra inventory space, and also, yeah, I have an idea actually. I have two unbreaking books. What unbreaking is that got on it? Two. If I combine these two books for unbreaking two, combine these for unbreaking three. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Don't worry. Um. Efficiency. Let's do an efficient. Actually, I don't think we have the levels to do this, do we? No. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I think I just combined the wrong books. Dang it. Yeah, I just combined the wrong books. Never mind. Um, but if we quickly sort ourselves out a little bit here, just shove those back in the chest. Um, I'm going to be using this guy for basically mining like coal, diamonds, emeralds, blood, all the uh, all the stuff that comes in this form, like diamonds, coal, emeralds, like I just said. And I'm probably going to use this guy to... Actually, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this guy here, even though he's not that important. I shouldn't, I'm just going to leave him here for saving inventory space. Um, you know, I'm just going to get, get rid of that as well. Um... I'm just going to take the Silk Touch pick with me and do some caving. 
and then use the Fortune 1. <laughs> Sounds a bit weird to say that. Fortune 1 uh, pickaxe when we get back. I know we won't get as much as we could. Um, I could see if Magnum responds and lets me borrow a Fortune 3 book uh, pickaxe if he's got one. Um, but other than that, what I'm going to go do, do a little bit of caving, come back with the results. And yes, I'll see you guys once I've done that. Okay, everyone, welcome back. As you can see, we are back at our base. That is because I have finished the mining expedition that I went on. Now, I didn't really get that much stuff. Everything is in this chest that I got. I did find a mob spawner, which is awesome. I also found a lot of ravines, which is kind of a shame because I never really find anything in ravines apart from a lot of lava and a lot of mobs. Thankfully, we didn't die. Our armor didn't really take any damage because most of it's got unbreaking on it anyway. But I'm going to quickly show you what we collected. So if we look in here, we have a lot of coal. Um, that's actually f just over four stacks of coal. Wow. <laughs> almost four and a half stacks of coal. It's pretty nice. Uh, almost two stacks of iron. Six diamonds, which is really nice. Uh, almost a stack of redstone. I wasn't actually collecting all the redstone, iron, um, all the redstone I've found. So I could have found more. Um, but I didn't really go around picking it all up. Um... Some gold, some lapis, only a little bit of lapis, which is kind of a shame. Um, and some horse armors. Uh, this is all what I got from the mob farm, uh, the mob spawner. Um, I think I actually forgot to take the coordinates for the spawner, but I know exa all we got to do is head that way to find it. Um, oh, hello. I just quickly killed a skelly. Bye bye. <laughs> I love this knockback sword, it just owns creatures, uh, mobs. But yes, uh, like I said in the previous clip, I was going to be using this Fortune 1 pickaxe on the stuff that we got. Um, I'm actually going to leave the redstone for now because I don't really need it at the moment. But I'm just going to use it on the diamonds and the lapis. I quickly head down here, plant down a few diamonds. That'll do. Let's just break these for now. We got six diamonds when we started, so that's one, two, three. <laughs> oh, we got more from that one. Okay, we've got seven in total. Um, unfortunately, we don't didn't really get any kind of multiplayer. We only really times one. <laughs> uh, doubled one up a lock, but that is okay. Um, we will hopefully be able to get a better fortune pick in the future. But until that happens, uh, we are going to have to live with this one. And we are getting quite a lot of lapis, which is nice. Lapis is really useful in this version of Minecraft, so we've got just over a stack of lapis, which is absolutely amazing. <laughs> you guys should see the smile I'm pulling right now. <laughs> okay, let's just put the diamonds away. We have eight diamonds. What I'm probably going to do, I'm going to smelt some of this iron up. Uh, some of the gold as well. Actually, I'm just going to throw it all in there. Um, I'm probably going to fortune all of this coal, uh, but I'm not going to do that until next... Uh, I won't do that until, like, probably next episode, or in between episodes, actually. Yeah, I'll do it in between episodes. I'll just fortune one it. <laughs> so, but yeah, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this episode. I know we didn't really do much, but as I'm only just starting off on the server, I know I have some decent gear. Um, But as I'm, like, really just starting off on the server, we're, on, we're only on episode four, for crying out loud. Um, but yeah. I've just lost track of what I was saying. But yeah, hopefully you did enjoy. Hopefully in the next episode we'll do some more work on our base over here. And if I, if you could, leave a like on this video. That would be really appreciated. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.